Woman keeps hearing whistling at night, Gut tells her to hide. The eerie sound drafted through the empty dark streets illuminated by the moonlight. At first, there wasn't a soul in sight, but once it hit 3.03 am, a figure started to take shape. It was just like she told them. The faint whistle was getting louder and louder. It was coming from the other end of the neighborhood. The cops watched as it came closer and closer. It happened again. Eva Marie clung to her duvets, trying to drown out the eerie sound. This wasn't the first time she heard this, and it certainly wouldn't be the last. The strange whistling sound would appear every night at 3.03 am like clockwork. At first, Eva thought it was some kind of night owl. But she was very very wrong. It was possible that Eva was the most excited and happy woman in the world when she moved into her new house in a neighborhood she had wanted to live in for a while. The houses there were beautiful and full of character. Not too big and not too small, perfect for raising a family in one day. Eva had big plans for the future, but they also had big plans for her. Eva lived alone, but as a senior account director for a big marketing firm, she was hardly ever at home. She had it all planned. Once she was in a committed relationship, she'd ask for fewer hours then start a family and buy a dog to guard the house when she was away. But then something happened that made her prioritize the need for security around her new hope-filled house. Eva first noticed a strange whistle in the middle of the night almost immediately after she moved into her new house. Since she was new to the area, she figured it was a bird or something, and then slept through it for a couple of weeks. But when it started to get louder and clearer, a more sinister story began to appear in her mind. Once Eva realized the whistle sounded like a human, as if the whistle belonged to a deranged man, she couldn't sleep. She began to feel unsafe. She called the cops to see if they could do anything for her, but they didn't pay much attention to her complaint as they had more important things to do. Boy, would they regret that. One fateful night, things got a lot worse. Eva had already convinced herself that either there was a dangerous person who roamed her neighborhood at night looking for empty houses, or that her neighborhood was haunted. One of those ideas wasn't far from the truth when the whistlers owned in on her house. Her blood ran cold when she realized that whatever it was, was right outside her front door. She had long gotten into the habit of locking her doors and windows. Yet she immediately jumped out of bed and closed her door, only to sheepishly stand behind it. She stood terrifyingly still as she heard her front door handle move. Now, it was trying to get in. Her heart went into overdrive. Her next move was all she had left. Now, it was an attempt at trespassing, at breaking in. This would have to get the attention of the cops now. The next morning, she told the cops exactly what happened. She pleaded for them to call over that night and they agreed. They parked opposite her house, surveying the area undercover. But they were totally unprepared. In the first wee hours of the morning, everything seemed normal. Nothing seemed out of place, but then it reached 3 a.m., it was just like Eva had told them. It began as a faint whistle coming from the other end of the neighborhood, but the cops listened as it came closer and closer. The eerie sound drafted through the empty dark streets illuminated by the moon. A shiver ran up the cop's spine as they began to see a strange teenager appear. She was wearing what looked like rags. She was barefoot and walked with a lazy drag. Her face was emotionless as she whistled loudly. Without thinking, the cops rushed out and approached the teen. Suddenly, they gasped in horror. When the cops approached the girl, she turned to them with a void face, her eyes were half open and glazed open. They gasped out in horror, before realizing she was actually sleepwalking. Being careful not to startle her, one cop gently tried to guide her to their car, while Eva watched from her window. It was the first time she had the courage to look outside the window at the whistler. Knowing the cops were outside across the street, made her feel safe. She gripped the window curtains as she peered out, and anxiously waited for the cops to make their move. But there was one thing she didn't understand. The cops put the whistler in their car and made their way over to Eva. She wondered why they were being so gentle with her. Why didn't they arrest her? She tried to enter her house after all, but then they explained everything. The scared teen woke in fright as the cops put her in their car. Then she explained herself. The young teen had some kind of rare sleep disorder that was triggered every night at the exact same time. She knew she was a sleepwalker, but she never knew that this is what she was doing. She couldn't believe she even left her house. With an exhausted face, she nervously approached Eva and the cops and apologized for scaring her. Eva was just relieved she wasn't a crazy stalker. 